Hi everybody, it's Anav from AutoDS Tools. In this video, I want to show you the active listings page. You can go to the active listing page from here, from the dashboard, or you can just click here. Once you're inside, you can see the list of products on your store. You'll see the number of products that you have here. And as you can see, you can have you have an edit button here. You can see the eBay uh, sell ID, the Amazon buy ID. You can have a, see a picture of the product here, the title, a quantity, the sell price on eBay, the buy price from Amazon, how many were sold, how many views, how many watchers, the profit that you'll be earning from this. Uh, product and then you can see the upload date and the status and you can change here click here and filter the results now I can see all the all the products that are in stock at the moment I see that they are all in stock so I can't see anything else but for example I can filter by quantity I'll see the quantities from uh, to going up to three, for example. If I want to search something, I can write here, I can write, um, I can take the uh, cell ID, copy it here, paste, and I will get this product. I can search by uh, a name. So if I write, uh, just for example, machine, I'll get all the listings with the word machine in them. That's about that. If I want to edit a single listing, I can press here on this little symbol of notebook and I'll get the editing page and you can basically edit almost everything from here. You'll see the sell item ID, the upload date, the quantity sold, the main picture of the product, the sell price, the purchase price and you can play with the numbers here you can change the break even add additional profit if it's in dollars or percentage uh, you can change the title and it's recommended to change titles only from the monitor and not from eBay uh, this is a very nice feature let's say you have a product and you found a different asset to the product with a lower price this allows you to just change the asin here so it will start monitoring this asin and this way you're not losing the history of sales of the product but you're lowering the price you can change the quantity and you can add tags the tags you're adding is a very is a tool uh, that will just help you with um filtering products according to what you choose for example if you have products that are add-ons and in a later time you want to find them and filter only by add-ons so you can tag each product that is an add-on and add-on and you're adding uh, you can write add on press enter and it will be added uh, to the tag list and this specific specific product will be tagged as add-on. Um, this option right here, exclude prime, exclude prime check. Uh, you want to check this box if you're uploading a product that is not prime and you want the monitor to monitor it because um, in a previous video I showed in the settings that uh, we are telling the monitor to only monitor prime products so you can change it to each product that you're uploading. So if you're uploading um, an add-on, you wanna mark check here so that it will not check if it's prime and will not take it out of stock. Um, here you can see the last notification uh, about a specific product, if it was uh, coming back to stock like you see here, or if there's a price change, any update will be written here. From these buttons, you can end the listing. If you press the red button, it means you're ending the listing in the monitor and on eBay. If you press here, remove from monitor, it will only be removed from the monitor, but will 
keep being live on eBay. From here, you can also go to full item edit. If you click here, you'll be able to edit the entire listings. If it's the title again, the pricing, the item specifics, you can add change pictures, you can choose a different template, um, and you can just edit the, pre uh, the template itself and maybe even change the policies. Uh, many things that you can do from here. Um, and that's it. I uh, know, sorry, uh, the bulk change. If you want to um, make a change to several items together, let's say I'll take this tree, I'll click bulk, and I can do the same here. I can define a new break even, a new additional profit, I can change just a new price for all of them. I can um, change the break even a little bit. Sometimes it happens that the PayPal fees change or your eBay store fees change. So you don't want to change completely the break even, just maybe like add a percentage here. Um, here you can choose if you want to exclude or unexclude prime check, like I explained before. And you can even change the template. Um, if you click here, apply to all, the changes will be made to the entire page you've just selected with all the products in this page. Uh, if you don't click here, it will just change the, everything for the items you've chose. And here you can filter the result you see in the active listings page by quantity, from quantity to quantity, uh, by item sold, sold, sell price, watchers, views, break even. So it's very, very convenient. And here, like I explained before, with the tags, you can write add on. It didn't add it because I didn't save it before, but you can write the tag that you're trying to filter through and just you'll be able to see all the listings that have this tag. You can check if it's in stock or out of stock and prime, excluded or unexcluded, like I showed before. And one last thing that is very comfortable, you can customize the co the columns here. Maybe you don't want to see the upload uh, date right here. So you can just go here and uncheck upload date. Maybe you don't want to see the number of, uh, I don't know, number of views. And this way the display will be easier and more comfortable for you. That's it about the active listing page. I'll continue more in the next videos. Thank you.